In this morning's showbiz report, the new Borat sequel for comedy fans and over the moon for the entire family. Two movies, new movies to stream. And Manny the Movie Guy has this peak of the week. Or pick of the week. Hello, movie buffs. Two big films for you. So let's begin with a comedy sequel, Borat's subsequent movie film. In 2006, we met Borat. I like sex. 14 years later, he's on a mission back to the United States, and I'm happy to say he hasn't lost his edge. The longer title of the movie is Delivery of Prodigious Bride to American Regime for Make Benefit Once Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. A mouthful, and it really says a lot. I brought the girl for you. I'm happy to see Sasha Baron Cohen return as his alter ego. Only this time, people know Borat already, so... I would need disguises. Confronting hypocrisy is front and center in the raunchy mockumentary. There are times when you feel it's shocking for shock value, but the sequel from Amazon Prime Video is still very funny. Borat, the character, may be a little angry this time, but he has a change of heart near the end. Borat. And for that, Borat's subsequent movie film gets three out of four glorious kisses. And to wash all the raunchiness away, let's fly over the moon. This top-notch wonder is from Oscar winner Glenn Keane, the visionary artist behind The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, and Beauty and the Beast. I love characters that believe the impossible. And you will believe that a little girl named Fei Fei, voiced beautifully by Kathy Ang, can build a rocket ship to the moon. <laughs> Getting to share a part of my heritage through the story, I think it's so meaningful. And it's meaningful that the voice cast is comprised of Asian American actors like Hamilton's Philip Pasu as the moon goddess Chang An. To open their minds and open their hearts. You will open your heart to the fantastic Sandra Oh as the would-be stepmother Mrs. Zhang. And I was waiting for your character to sing the sound. Manny. I don't think you want to. Hi, I'm Gobi. Adding humor is Ken Jong as Gobi, the misunderstood moon resident. Unites the themes of love and family. And it's those themes that truly resonate, along with a memorable soundtrack that will take you over the moon. The film's message that love never dies may even make you shed a tear or two. And my love for over the moon will never die. Chicka chicka! And for that, Over the Moon gets the perfect 4 out of 4. Stream it on Netflix. Kisses. I'm Manny the Movie Guy, loving Over the Moon to the moon and back. Up next,